Hey everyone, Edward here at Windows Report and today I'm going to show you how to fix Microsoft Flight Simulator 2020 when it's crashing on Windows 10 or Windows 11. So the first solution that you should always take in consideration is to run the Windows Store app Troubleshooter. Now to do this, press the Windows button, then select the settings icon, afterwards click on System on the left pane, and then on the right side scroll down until you find the Troubleshoot category and just click on it. Now click on Other Troubleshooters, and the last thing you have to do is click on the Run button next to Windows Store Apps Troubleshooter. Now Windows will try to detect any issues and fix them as soon as possible. You can then restart your computer and check if the problem still persists. Moving on, another useful solution is to reset the Microsoft Store cache. To do this, press the Windows button, then simply type the following run command. And now the last thing that you have to do in here is right click this command and select run as an administrator. Now wait for Microsoft Store window to automatically open, reset itself and then you can check if the problem still persists. Next in line, another useful solution is to update Windows 11. So press the Windows button, click on the settings icon and afterwards click on Windows Update on the left pane and then on the right side click on the blue check for updates button. Windows will now scan for the latest updates and it will try to install them automatically for you and then you can check if the problem still persists. Another useful solution is to update your PC's graphics drive. To do this right click the Windows button then select Device Manager from the list of options. And now in here in the Device Manager window make sure to expand display adapters, right click on the problematic device and select the Update Driver option. Now in here click on Search automatically for drivers and Windows will try to scan for the latest updates. Afterwards, after installing these updates, restart your computer and then you can check if the problem still persists. And lastly, another useful solution is to reset or uninstall Microsoft Flight Simulator. To do this, press the Windows button, head over to Settings, now click on Apps on the left pane, then on the right side click on Installed Apps, and what you have to do in here is find the Flight Simulator game and click on the three dots next to it and select Advanced Options. I'll show you the example with something else from Microsoft because I do not currently own the game. So scroll down in here and head over to the reset section and click on the repair button. This is a first because in this case the app's data won't be affected at all. But unfortunately if this step doesn't work you have to reset your application. In this case the app's data will be deleted and everything will return to the default state. And as a last resort you can also uninstall the application. Then you can just reinstall Microsoft Simulator and check if the problem still persists. And that's it. Super simple, isn't it? Of course, if this video helped you, make sure to hit the like button and subscribe to our channel for more quality content. Thanks for watching.